everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. We're in Westfield Standard Mode North Spawn, and congratulations to Green Amoeba for getting into the Hall of Fame for the first time in his WZ-131. In this case, he's going to move into third place. There's no artillery in this battle. Three scouts apiece. His team mostly mediums enemy team a little bit better mix of tanks so they definitely have the mobility advantage looks like most of the team is opting to go up to the west field and fight up to the north just a couple lights and medium sticking to the southern side, the east side. But there is one TD setting up to snipe from up the edge of town. Gotta watch that TD off to your right. Sniper's paradise right now. Concealment plus targets equals good scores. This is worth, oh, doesn't have to be a blind shot. I was going to say, I'd take this one blind anyway. Somebody else got the kill. Once again, you see when somebody's sniping at a moving target, you keep your lead, you keep your reticle ahead of the target you're shooting at. You pace it, get a good feel for exactly how fast he's moving, and that lets you get ahead, stop, let the aim get perfect, and then fire, and he runs right into your shot. You have to practice to do it to get it down. It's a very effective way of leading targets. If you try to keep your reticle right on the target as you fire and then pull ahead at the last second, you never give yourself time to aim. Keep your reticle out ahead of them. And kind of pace them. And then stop for a second. Get aimed in fully and fire. Works really well. That's 28 prototypes dead. You can't get his turret around, no way. Of 
131 does such consistent damage. Now they've taken a small lead. Everybody's up on the field here. Hopefully everybody heads down towards town and attacks as a team. It's kind of like playing basketball when you're when you're headed straight at a TD or an arty like that. It's like coming up on a defender one on one in basketball. You juke him a couple ways, and whichever way you get him to overcommit to, you go the other. Now in this case, somebody else took the guy out, but that's exactly what he was doing. He fainted left, he fainted right, and he's going to make his decision based on how the TD reacted to what he was doing. You just get him. All you have to do is get him to commit just a little bit to one direction, and then you go the other way. And you gain their side, and they're dead. It's exactly like the way you do coming in on somebody in basketball, trying to get around that one last defender. You don't know which way you're going until you see how they react to what you do. It's very hard when you're defending and somebody's coming in on you like that not to commit one way or the other because you don't want to get too far behind. If they fake left and you just sit there and don't react and they keep going left, now you're behind the curve. So you can almost always get somebody to commit one way or the other and then you just simply go the other way and laugh at them. It's not that they're playing bad, it's just it's hard to outthink the person coming in on you. Which is why when you're defending the situation like that, don't just go for the kill. If you're smart, track the dude. He can't fake you out if he's not moving. Track him. Light to go. He was down in here. I don't know if he's retreated or not. Meanwhile, Green Amoeba has posted monster damage here. 131s are capable of this. 132s are too because they put out such consistent damage from the game. Has a decently fast reload. Pretty good accuracy and consistent damage, which is everything you want to get good damage in a scout. And somebody else gets the last kill, but he got more than his share of damage. He finishes up. 4,933 points of damage, almost 5,000 damage. And he gets 5 kills, 30 of 36 shooting, that's 83%. Got 584 assisted damage because he wasn't trying to get assisted damage. He was doing the sniping instead of being the spotter. Got 2 spots, 44,334 credits into the bank. Survived the fight and got a high caliber and confederate medal. No mini medals. That's like very strange. I bet if you checked right now, it is the only entry in the Hall of Fame with no mini medals. I had to check that twice going, maybe it didn't record it or something. Because I don't see how you can get this much damage and everything else and not get a mini medal. But none showed up, so I can't score him. He ends up 2,878 XP. And his battle score, third place, 2,927. Pretty standard approach. 
when you play scouts you got three choices normally you go here or you come up here toward the end of the village and snipe or depending if you have an auto loader you can come up here and just dump on tanks in the heavy to heavy war this is becoming the most popular amongst scout drivers is to go over here instead of they forego this right here because it's so hard to get people to support you as a scout you pull up here and look around and all your mediums are way back here or they're way back here and they're like dude now I'm up here by myself and you can't possibly help me so if you don't have teammates you know you can count on safer bet to come over here and be the sniper instead of the spotter and it doesn't matter which direction you do it from you can you go to this edge you go to this edge their bushes both ways you just have to be aware of tanks on the enemy team lining up in this area that you can either take advantage of and shoot or you have to be very careful they aren't looking to shoot you because it's one of the things if you're smart and come up into these areas you're always watching the opposite side of town to see if there's enemies there that are going to shoot you or that you can get away with shooting and um, wow he spots and snipes and snipes and snipes and snipes ends up attacking the last couple tanks and having to come back to clean up the last two down at the end so again once again man there's so much that's not tricky or takes extra special skill to do to get high scores in this game learn your fundamentals learn how to shoot without being seen learn where to shoot and like you saw him doing it's a little bit of an advanced skill shooting it far away at a tank on the move but you saw how he was moving his reticle and keeping a lead position on the target and then he just lets the target come to him at the end so he has his reticle as small as possible aims perfect lead is perfect and he scores a hit almost every time he shoots by doing that practice it when you're in a position practice it don't try to keep your reticle on the tank you go and shoot and then pull ahead at the last second when you're tracking him lead him and then let him come to you and it improves your accuracy on those long distance shots on the move on a moving target all you can do is miss and from that distance you're not being seen so practice go back and look at how he did it and then practice doing that yourself it's guaranteed to help you out once you learn how to do it that way from Westfield congratulations for his first Hall of Fame entry Green Amoeba Green Amoeba happy hunting 